Um, we've obviously researched it for a long time, four years in fact, um, and that eventually we decided that if, if he made the decision that he wanted to have um, a prosthetic limb, then that's the way that we'd go, but we wanted to make sure that we got every bit of information and, and, um, and so that we knew the best way to go about it. Um, and it wasn't until he started school um, that he told us that he didn't really like his little hand and he, he didn't want to be different. And I think it was just the fact that he was there with all those other children and he noticed that he was different and it was the first time. And we'd waited a long time, didn't we? We knew it would come in. We'd hoped that it wouldn't, but obviously, kids being kids. Um, I mean, the people... The people that you would really no, need to talk sure. to is Staten Hall. They were the people that printed it off. They were the ones that put it all together and the information that they've learned just by doing that alone. Um, you can't thank them enough, can you? You just don't know what to say to them. Um, but the, yeah, they are fantastic. Um, but we've given them inspiration as well because they now want to continue making prosthetic limbs through a 3D printer and we've also found out that there's possible other schools that they want to get involved as well so it's been a good thing all around for everybody. Yeah.